Hi, I'm Mikola, and you are about to have the almost imponderable joy of listening to Dr. Noise, which makes you, like, noisy. It's time for Vlogist. Welcome to Vlogist. To make sure that I stay disciplined throughout this entire project, I have deleted every distraction that I could possibly think of that might interrupt my flow, shall we say, during this month. Then I discovered Robot Unicorn Attack. Always I want to be with you, make believe with you, harmony, harmony, some words. Also to make sure that I stay disciplined throughout this month and organized, I have created this very crooked calendar. As you can see, today the project begins. Now on this calendar I will be putting challenges or suggestions or anything else you guys might want to see me do or talk about. So if you've got any questions or challenges or suggestions or birthday requests, leave them in the comments below or put them in the YouTube moderator which I have opened up on the main channel. Now this challenge will be difficult for me as I spent three days of the week in Madison and then I spend the last two days of the week in lacrosse. The reason my bouncing back and forth is of course of the racing thing that I do on the weekends. By the way, hello new subscribers. If you didn't know, I drive a race car on the weekends. Now because I do spend the last two days of the week in a different city, that also means the videos will be going up in the evening as opposed to Monday through Wednesday, these videos will be going up more towards the morning slash noon time. So with that all being said, I have absolutely no idea what to expect to come in the next month, but I do know you can always expect a little bit of this. Oh yeah. Mountain Dew, whatever would I do without you? Probably drink something else. Now the only other thing that I've got written on the calendar that isn't Project Begins you'll see is minor inconveniences. I can't wait till Wednesday to find out what that is. Now that we've got that out of the way, I think it's time for QUESTIONS FROM TWITTER! The Real Gears asks, Do you think you're gonna make it through Vlogus successfully or do you think you'll need to take a break? Oh ho! Already questioning whether or not I can make it all the way through, huh? Well let me tell you something, Mr. Gears. I can almost definitely, certainly, probably, maybe, definitely, I think I said definitely twice, guarantee that I am going to make it through this successfully. Definitely, maybe, guarantee. Katie Fab asks, Ever think you were going to get a tattoo that you knew you'd regret if you had it now? What was it? The first thing that you have to have in your mind before going to get a tattoo is that you are never going to regret it. But even before you get to that point, if you know that you have to convince yourself that you're not going to regret a tattoo, you shouldn't get a tattoo. A tattoo is something that you should never ever question whether or not you're going to regret, because if you think that you're going to regret it, you're going to regret it. That's not really the question though, is it? The question more is, was there ever a tattoo that you knew you'd regret now if you got it? No. XO underscore AJ asks, Do you know why a raven is like a writing desk? I haven't the slightest idea. Mike Lombardo asks, Who's the sexiest piano rock artist on DFTBA records? I feel like this might be a trick question. Fine, fine, Mike Lombardo is the greatest DFTBA rock piano artist. There, everybody's heard me say it. I hope you're happy. Cruzera Santos asks, Do you love me? Well, I think I do. But what am I so afraid of? Probably a love there is no cure for. And finally, Found Her Grail asks, How do you master the dance break? Well, first things first, Jump cut. And that's how it's done. Wah! Today's question for the comments comes from the one, the only, Mikola. And if you want anything on this calendar, leave it in the comments or leave it in the moderator. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, Bill has just transmitted to me the question for today's comments, and I think it's a good one. So put on your swashbuckling hat and imagine that you are in a duel to the death with your arch nemesis. And you have almost defeated said nemesis and you're about to deliver the fatal blow. Here's the question. With what line, what rapier-witted line, can I do that? Rapier-witted line will you deliver your final taunt? What will you say to your arch nemesis just before you kill him? Answers down there. Until next time, I'm Mikola. Music.